Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. So I want to come on um and do a Sunday night Sunday night lab. Sunday night lab. So first um we want to talk about uh the phenomenal black women's annual, fifth annual hey. hey, hats and sundresses. I was an honoree. Hey. And um not only was I an honoree, um, I was also nominated the phenomenal woman of the year. So kudos. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Jada, and all the committee, the team. Um, thank you for all those who nominated me. I'm a queen. So I got my crown today from Dr. Kennedy. Um, so just was super honored, so super, just humble um, and grateful and grateful. So shout out. Thank God for my, my village, my husband who was there with me, uh, Louis, a.k.a. Reverend Rev, Reverend Williams. Um, hey. Thank you for always supporting me. So he was in a room full of women today. Um, he hung out with us. So we thank God for, for him always supporting. Um, and my family, I love you all and my church uh, sisters. Um, so it was just a blessing. My spiritual mom um, as well for my church. So just was a blessed, blessed day. So want to come on and, and shout that out. You'll be seeing, you'll see the pictures on my um, page. So everybody's tagged. If you got me in a picture, tag me. All right, so we want to come on uh, for our Sunday Night Live special. I guess we can call it that, right? Yes. Yes. We haven't been consistent with the Sunday night, Sunday evenings um, live broadcast, um, but I want to start being a little more consistent. Um, so I am going to upload this on the Motivations podcast as well. So we will do that as well. So today, if you notice, I've been posting for the month of August, All Things New, because we've been celebrating and in, in a in expectation and believing God for new things in the month of August, a representing so many things, balance, um, eternity, infinity, newness, the anointing, you know, fresh start. So new, new, new regen regeneration. Um, so today I posted a new status. Mm -hmm. I posted a new status. And the reason I posted a new status, what came to me today was, that I was going to receive, uh, the, you know, be awarded for being a phenomenal woman in ministry. Now, I posted that only knowing that I was going to get the honoree with the other uh, 11 women in ministry. But I didn't know that I was also going to be honored as the phenomenal woman of the year. Yeah. So with that being said, I got, you know, like a double status. So, you know. So we wanted to come on and talk about what is this new status that God is is um, speaking up on today. And so we were conversing and we thought of two uh, people in the Bible who relates to a new status. And let me just give you what the word status means um, from the Webster Dictionary. It's first definition I uh, found. It says the position or rank in relationship to others. And the second definition reads relative rank in or hierarchy of prestige. Prestige being meaning standing or estimation in the eyes of people or weight or credit in general opinion. Prestige also means commanding position in people's minds. Wow. And so... As relates to status, we wanted to come on and share about two uh, people in the Bible, which is Joseph and David. David. Joseph and David. My husband said David, and I thought of Joseph. So I thought of Joseph because because um, I, I was like, well, who who had a new status in the Bible? And so he said David, and I, I, I'll tell you why I chose Joseph, and he can tell you why he chose David. I chose, I thought of Joseph like immediately because Joseph was like the, you know, like the underdog. Like he was so, he was a young man, you know, his brothers hated him. He was his father's favorite. And because of that, he was his father's favorite. His brothers envied him. They were envious and jealousy. Anytime you have the envious spirit, usually the person also is jealous. And they hated him and they wanted to kill him. Um, and, and if you know the story, oh. you know that Joseph was so so bad brothers because they were going to kill him and they did put him down in the well to kill him but then they went up the other brothers like no nah, we shouldn't do that we shouldn't kill him so they went and got him out the well and sold him 
to the Egyptians, right? So he was sold. And they told his brother that he died. Uh, did they tell him? Uh, like their father that... Well, um, well, one of his brothers came back and was wondering what they what they did with him. Yeah. And, and he didn't care for how they... Right. He convinced them to go get him out, the, out of the well and then they sold him. But uh, they told the father that he had been killed, though, right? If yes. I'm not mistaken. So now they had the father thinking his, his favorite son, baby boy, is dead. And they brought the coat back with him. Right. Because remember his father um, gave him Jacob... His father was Jacob? Oh, let's see. Yes. Yes. He, his father, you know, remember I said his, he was his father's favorite. So his father had uh, made him a coat, gave him a coat. It was made of many colors. So it was a royal, royalty coat. And so that's how they convinced his father that, you know, he had, was dead. They put blood on, animals blood on it, whatever. Um, but he was sold in, into slavery and he went uh, to Potiphar's house first, right? Yeah, yes. he went to Potiphar's house as a slave. And if you know that story, Potiphar's wife came on to him. He rejected her. She lied on him. And he ended up in jail. Um, and just from that point on of being in prison, falsely accused, Joseph just went through uh, time after time, different situations where he was in that type of situation where he was put in jail, falsely accused, and he had never did anything wrong. But I love about Joseph, he rolled, he continued to keep the same uh, spirit he never complained or anything, and God always showed him favor. And then, then in due season, he did receive a new status, and he became he became uh, the president. I don't know his time, captain over all of Egypt under Pharaoh. So Pharaoh put him in a, a place of position. So his status did change, even though he had to go through some things to get to that point. So, and why did you choose David as with as it relates to having a new status? Well, David uh, almost had a similar story to Joseph um, when God sent the prophet down to um, Jesse's house. David was out in the field tending to the animals, and because of the other brothers, the prophet felt that or thought that one of those brothers, and, and since the oil didn't flow, but God told him that when, when you pour the oil, it's, it's going to flow on the one who's going to be the next king. And none of the sons that Jesse had present, the oil flow, and, and uh, the prophet said, hey, you, have, you have any more sons? And that's when he when he got David. So D David was leastly... But where was David? David was a shepherd. Well, oh, and, and David was tending the, 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 she the sheep at that uh -huh. time. And, and when you look at basically Joseph and David's story, God had him in... A, a certain position at a certain time uh, to train David. Because David was an anointed king when he was about uh, around, around 15, mm -hmm. when he was about 15 years old. But he didn't get to the reign to be king until he was around 30 years old. And so those who are waiting, those who that have seemed like they have been put on the back burner, God will tell us about the position but we might not. He might not have us ready to be in the position, and so there is a lot of things from the initial uh, speaking of our position mm -hmm. until actually God places us in our position. And and I, go ahead. Oh, and I, uh, so he brought up. So David was uh, fifteen. Joseph was around seventeen when his brother sold him into slavery, and um, as we were studying, we found that they both once they. The, we, they both were the same age when they were put into their new status, their new position, which was 30 years old. They were 30 years old. So we could say David went through his pros, preparation and process for 15 years and Joseph um, about uh, 13. 13 years. And so that shows you, as Lewis was saying, it takes time. Once God speaks the word uh, over you of what you are, because God already speaks in present tense who you are. Before it's really for it to manifest, not really before it to manifest that you see who you you see who you are to be, but God sees you as already there. Mm -hmm. So we have to just go through the process with God through the ups, the downs, the mistakes, uh, the failures, the the lack of resources, the, the the going it alone, like all of the things that come against you when you're following the plan of God, um, and you have to just what be consistent. 
keep a humble spirit, stay faithful, because through it all, we know that Joseph and David were favored uh, by God. And also, we are favored by God, but most of, most of the time, we focus on how we gonna get there? Who gonna get us there? Mm -hmm. and, and and but God is we always God, right? We want the answers <laughs> like right away. But God always have us in training every day that God gets each of us up. That's a day of training. God, what do you want to show me today? What mm -hmm. God uh, you want me to see today? Who do I supposed to uh, come in contact with the t with today? And all every day of our lives is our uh, stepping stone to the position that where God will have us to be initially. We, cause when I, uh, let me, let, let me just share this in 19, I want to say 1999 around something like that. Um, I, I felt God was calling me to full time ministry. And so, uh, I ended up, uh, getting, uh, getting released from my job, I told him that God, I, I felt God was calling me to full, full time ministry. I, I told them that this was going to be my last uh, go around. They thought they were pushing me out the job. No, but I, God, I believe God had was taking me in another direction. And but it, uh, getting into ministry didn't happen right away. You know, it still was some time that God uh, uh, was working with me even before my first initial sermon. Mm -hmm. And so, and so God will allow us to hear Him, and then He's going to start preparing us. And so the position, as Mona has already stated, is already in action. Before the, before the beginning of time, God has already uh, stationed us or positioned us where we would be. We have to walk it out and we have to walk it out in faith. Yes, some days get tiresome. Yes, some days get dark. And some days seem, seem bluer than others. But as we continue to trust God, and I think... One of the things that happen along the journey before we get in our actual position is that we begin to lose hope or we begin to, our faith begin to lax. But every day we're going to be challenged just as David and Joseph were challenged before they got to their position. Joseph had to go through what he had to go through uh, to get to, to the end road of where Potus were uh, placed him because there was a, fan, a phantom had come Fam. into the famine had come into the land and his mm -hmm. brothers had to come back to mm -hmm. him to get fed and yes. so we yeah, can't God, turn that thing around. God will turn it around. Yes. There's many people that is allotted to each of us in life and, and we can't go back and minister to those people until God have done something in us and so God is still churning us. God is still taking out. God is still pruning. And Good God, is, 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 as he is pruning us, he is replacing something. Mm -hmm. Prune, replace. Prune mm -hmm. and replace. And so God is getting some things out of us to get some things in us so we'll be ready to handle the position that is up the road. And that position is going to come to pass. And this just dropped in my spirit, as you said, God's preparing us for the position that's up the road. Um, that God does not take you from A to Z in an instant. No. You cannot skip the in-between process because if you're not developed and your character is not developed and you do not have a solid, sound, rooted foundation in God and in God's word, um, if he moved you to the top hey, right okay. away, glory to God, Lord have mercy. If he moved us to the top without us being developed, we will mess it up. We will mess it up. And even there, there are some who have been developed, went through the process and messed it up. But they was in, you know, you get caught up in self and ego tripping and all that. But but God does not want to mess us up. He even says in the word, don't place a novice over anything as far as being a leader. They're not ready. And I heard, I was reading just a small quote today. You can't take the elevator to success. You have to take the steps. Yes. Just today. Just yeah. to, earlier today, you cannot take so, the elevator quick, to success. Quick, 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 you have yes. to take the stairs. You can't get to the top of the ladder unless you place your feet on every one wrong. at a time, one step at a time. If you take a ladder, you got to go step one, step two, and work your way up. God is a builder. Jesus was a carpenter. There's no coincidence. So God is a builder. He's, He's a builder. 
a building oh, people up. He's a builder, first of all, of relationship. Yes. Relationship, first of all, with him. Yes. You have to build with God first. And as you build with God, then we build with people. Because we need to operate in the spirit of God to, to build and deal with, with people. people. Because everyone we deal with is not always, you know, they're not always up front. They're not always upright. Yes. Um, they don't have your best interests at heart. Yes. They can smile in your face, stab you in the back. When we're talking ministry, you go through this even in ministry. We, we know how the world treats us. Amen. But even in ministry, you can run into these different types of situations. Then you also, as you're going up the ladder and building relationship, you want to keep your spirit, your character yes. in integrity, in integrity, not being jealous, not being envious. Because yes. now you're sitting watching everybody else be blessed. And you're like, OK, God, when is my turn? When do I get out of the apartment yes. and into the house? When do I get a husband and not being alone and single like God has our life chartered. And if we just stay with him and stick with him and trust him, he will get us to that destined place. Because we can tell you we are a testament of how God has blessed us from where we started to where we are now. So if you stick with God in what, 22 years in December? Yes. 22 years being married. If you stick with God. And, and and work with God and give God something to work with and work with what God wants you to work with. Work his word in the right spirit and, and, and on the right path. You can get through all of your relationships in the right spirit as long as you stay in the right spirit. Let me, yes. I want to share this. It was a, a family member that was uh, upset with me. And so, and so uh, another family mem member said, now I hadn't did anything wrong. They just was mad because they felt how they felt. So another family member said, well, you just need to go to them and apologize. And I was thinking, to, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm tired of apologizing. I'm tired. I'm tired of apologizing. I didn't do anything. And what I, I felt in my spirit is, no, I'm going to wrap this out. I'm going to wait it out because I have not did anything wrong. And that spirit got to bow down. Cause I'm not, I'm not giving in to that spirit this time. I, I, I did it enough. I'm not bowing to it, and I didn't. And guess what? Everything worked itself out. See, sometimes we bowing down to these bad spirits and family and friends, and we giving the enemy access. We giving yes, him reign yes. to keep controlling us. That is not of God. And I rolled that storm out, and and the, and the storm ceased. Amen. And so I just felt to sh share that with someone. Lewis, I'm doing all the talking. Yeah. <laughs> and, but as you, no, you're not doing all the talking. You're, yeah. you're really giving some good uh, nuggets right now. And that is uh, for all of us to intake. You have to ride the storm out. Mm -hmm. you, you have to. Every level or position that God puts us at, it, we're going to experience some, some, some uh, pushback. We don't get up into ministry just by everything is peaches and cream. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some pushback. There's going to be folks that just dislike you, just dislike you for that God is just moving you and not moving them. Mm -hmm. But we have to stand fast, be unmovable, always abounding mm -hmm. in the work of the mm -hmm. Lord. Yes. Don't give up. Uh, and that's what we really want to push out across the airwaves. Do not give up. If you I, I do, do if you know that you are in, in a position and God told you are you in a position, get ready, get ready, get ready. I heard uh, past uh, Bishop T D Jake say you you, uh, you you just don't become a husband or a wife because yeah, you got yeah. married. You already yeah. are are uh, th that's already in your spirit, yeah. and so you have to be, begin to develop that yeah. that that uh, position. Because a husband is a position, a wife is a position, a pastor is a position, a deacon is a position, an mm -hmm. aunt T is a position, an uncle is a position. Mm -hmm. And we have to develop those positions because that's what even the speaker today was saying, that we have we ha we have these many hats mm -hmm. or we have these many connections. connections and we're, we're not even utilizing or exercising where we are. And so mm -hmm. where, wherever you are right now, God has equipped you to do what you're able to mm -hmm. do at, at, at this junction in your life. And then as you fulfill that junction, it's still training you for the next junction in life. So every junction 
or every position in life is, is training us for the next uh, position that God has in store for us. And so uh, don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Don't become bitter. Don't get, don't become mad. Don't become envious. Don't become jealous. Don't you, don't uh, have malice against anyone mm -hmm. because if you send somebody being promoted, God always have something on the on the plate for you. So that, clap for them. Amen. Clap for them. <laughs> Even clap for your position before you get there. Sometimes we want to <laughs> wait for God to put us in the position and get happy and give God praise. Give God praise right now. That's what the enemy doesn't want us to do is to give God praise in our present state. But if we can give God Amen. praise and honor and glory in our present state, God God can get that new new position, that new state quicker. Uh, quicker to you and so don't 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 throw in the towel right now but rejoice where you are bask in the glory where you are give praise to god where you are amen because your new status is on the way and i just uh saw this on the notes that I, I have to say joseph as well as david were both the less likely to they both were the less likely to but god god doesn't look at uh, the status of men. He doesn't the look heart. at the outer appearance. God looks at the heart. The heart. He looks at Keeps the your heart. heart. Right. Keep your heart. Yes. Keep your heart protected. Keep your heart protected. Tell the enemy, I'm not going to let you not cause down. me to be angry at anybody. I'm not going to cause you to be uh, allow me to be mad at anybody. Right. If you if you are facing that uh, type of uh, um, uh, spiritual uh, uh, downfall right now. Reject, refuse, rebuke that enemy. Mm -hmm. God, I know that, that that right now I'm feeling a little weak in my spirit. God, I'm having these thoughts in, in, in my mind, but God, in my heart, God, I know that God, what you told me and I'm waiting on you. So God, whatever those feelings are, God, I pray and ask you, God, to, to uh, forgive me of them. And something, you know, and we have to know that, 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 how, we have to know how the enemy is working. Mm -hmm. And then once we understand how the enemy is working, pray and talk to God. God know that we live in a human body, mm -hmm. but we're trying to become more spiritual. And more. And as we read God's word and as, and as we become more connected with God, our spirit man grow. But if we're not spending any time with God, if we're not reading uh, our word, if we're not uh, praying uh, then, then the enemy can come in uh, like uh, like a flood. But God said he will lift up a standard against that enemy. Yes. The enemy has no control over our mind. He has no control over our words. Amen. He has no control over our actions. Because Only the we... control you give him. Amen. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to... So your, your <laughs> new position. I, I can see you in your new position. Can you see yourself? In I your see. new position. I see. Because you, you got to be ready. You have to be ready. You have to be ready. Oh, and I talked about... Didn't we talk about that? Oh, I talked about that um, uh, in, uh, in the lab group. Uh, be ready for the new. Be ready for the new. Um, so we just came on to share about a new status. So this week I shared uh, a new heart, a new walk, a new direction, um, a new status. Position. God is going to do it. Trust God. Be in expectation. And can, 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 I, can I want to add this? We we always looking for a new position in God. What about a new position in our family? A new position with our husband. A new position mm -hmm. with our wives. A new position with our kids. A new position at our jobs. Mm -hmm. You know. So I know we have to work. We have responsibility. But God sent us to that place of employment. So we can be an example to somebody else. Because yeah. the new job that I've had for the last five years, I have put up with a lot at this new job. Almost was ready to walk away from this job. But God changed the hearts of those mm. individuals who were trying to uproot me. Uh, and some, I know one got fired that was yes. coming against you. Touch not my anointing. All of us are God's anointed. Just saying. The battle doesn't belong to us. The battle belongs to God. Amen. Get that in our, if we can get that in our spirit, the battle belongs to God. Mm -hmm. And some people may look at me, oh, you, 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 I wouldn't put up with that. You, I, 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 I God has equipped me to put up, to put up with it mm -hmm. for a purpose. Yeah. Because before this pandemic, 
there was a lot coming against me. But this pandemic changed a lot of individuals' heart. And even during the pandemic, you didn't get the layoff. God kept I didn't. Me. God did not allow me to get the layoff during the pandemic. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. so uh, New position. A new status. It's on the way. It's on the way. Thank God for Thank it. Thank you, Lord. We, we, we praise him in advance for yes. your new position. Thank your you, new Lord. position. Your new status. Amen. Want to pray us out? Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Oh, God, we thank you for such a glorious day as this. We thank you for all that you've done today, God. We thank, thank you for God. what you have done in the past. And, God, we already thank you for the future. And then, God, all those that are waiting, God, to be elevated, God, to be in a new position, to have a new status, God, I pray, God, your strength, Father God, upon them in the name of Jesus. God, I pray, God, that, you, that they I will be able to stand in the midst of adversity. Oh, God, even if they don't understand everything that you're doing, I pray, God, that you would just, God, just just, just rest in their spirit. God, give them a spirit of peace and a calm and serenity, Father God. And then, God, as we wait, God, we just want to praise you. God, it, it just praise you, just oh, praise God. you, just praise you. And God, just thanking you for just allowing us to go through, God, because even as we are going through, God, we are picking up nuggets of, God, we're picking up things that will help us, God, for the next junction in, in, in along this, this journey, along this road, God, along this path. And so, God, we pray for every individual that will hear this podcast. We pray for those that are already on the podcast live, Father God. Yes. We pray for Mona, God, for even you allowing her to put this together, God, to be able to encourage your people, not only, God, locally, but, God, globally around the world. Wherever you, they will hear this, God, whether it's in the morning, afternoon, or at night, God, we pray that your spirit will rest on the words, Father God, that your words will give them comfort and peace, God, that your words will give, get them out of uh, a, a spirit of despair but, and, and move them into a spirit of hope in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now, God, because because you said, God, if we just put our trust in you, God, you said your word will not come back void, but it shall accomplish everything that is set out to do. And so, God, even in, 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 in families, Father God, we're praying for the husband and wives, God, to get ready to be set in a new position. Oh, God, we pray for the children, God, to get ready to be set, God, into a new position. Those that are in ministry, we're waiting, God, for you to set them, God, to be pastors, teachers, evangelists, apostles, God, around the world. Yes. Oh, God, we believe your word, and God, we're not gonna, going to just sit back and let the devil try to rule over us. Mm -hmm. God, you said in your word, God, when an enemy comes in like a flood, mm -hmm. God, that you will lift up a standard against the enemy. When the enemy comes into my mind, God, it said, cast down every imagination mm -hmm. that exalt itself against the kingdom of God. Yes. And so, God, we cast down the mm -hmm. enemy and mm -hmm. plead the blood of Jesus God upon every family the household God that is listening to this podcast right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Oh God somebody who wanted to give up God because they feel like their position is so far off God. We speak life right, right. now. In we speak life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh God we command and a, a decree God in the name of Jesus God that it will take place. Yes. God why while we in the wait, God, we just say thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Bless your name, Lord. Bless your name. Bless your name for that pastor that has been waiting yes. in the wings, God. Yes, God. Oh, that deacon, God, he's been waiting in the wings. That evangelists have been waiting in the wings. Yes, that prophet to the prophetess has been waiting in the wings, Thank Father God. God. Oh God, in the name of Do Jesus. Wrong, oh, in the name of Jesus. You have called somebody to a new position, God, and the enemy has been fighting them and fighting them and fighting them and fighting them. 
you are getting your release from that enemy in the, in name, the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. But don't yes. don't do it. Don't give up right now. Don't give in right now. Even though God is about to give you a release, mm. you just bask in the release because it, up the road the enemy is going to try something different. And but God has already prepared you for that next junction, that next position, that next status in the mm. name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. You can do it. On the way. Oh, glory, glory to, God. to God. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. So God bless everyone. We will see you on next time. Share this out. Comment below. All things new. And we will see you on the next time. God bless. Yes. Toodles. God bless. Toodles. <laughs>